Anytime Christian Odege does anything, it's always massive. So it's no wonder that he brought his self-titled brand here to LA Fashion Week, and it's probably the biggest spectacle this tent has ever seen. Now you've shown in Miami, you've shown in Las Vegas, you've, of course you've shown here in Los Angeles. What kind of what kind of market best suits Christian Olivier? I believe there's no market for Christian Olivier because now I have a kids collection, so the little kids two years old can wear my product. The whole people can do that too, women and men, and uh, uh, no 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 colors. No, my product is for everybody, you know. Christian, in just about two years, has succeeded in taking the fashion industry by storm and making Ed Hardy a household name. This has ultimately led him to becoming the king of the designer t-shirt. Now the man known for such fads as the Von Dutch trucker hat is hoping a self-titled brand will make an American lord out of anyone who wears it. How is the American lord? Maybe me, no? Uh, I come to present to your collection as a lord, you know? You're gonna come in my garden. It's a kind of garden party, what we did on the runway. So you're gonna be uh, amazed. Rock and roll really brings out LA every time. I am aware. Is that why you're loving it? Of course. This is the only show that I've come to. Think about it. It is no secret that celebrities flock to Christian. Fabulous. You love it? Yes, I love it. My kids love it too. Probably because they wish they can market themselves just like the designer has. Billy, what do you love so much about Christian Odege? Um, he's Teflon, man. The man's in, you know, he's he's like a super resilient. Uh, I don't know how he managed to, to, to capture the, uh, the again, I used the term before, but like the zeitgeist of his, of his consumer base, you know, he just really taps in to what people love and, uh, you know, his entrepreneurial spirit truly shines as he is now investing or expanding his brand across so many different licenses and platforms. You know, I wish him the best, but constantly reinventing himself. He's a marketing genius. Yeah, he is. He's just brilliant. He's a great guy. Lovely friend. Now every season, every time you show, it's always huge, it's always overdone. Why Why do you decide to sort of bring it like no one else has ever brought it? I believe I, I don't do much than everybody, I'm just doing more focus than everybody. And uh, my brand is not just a brand, it's a lifestyle. And uh, it's just natural, I have people working with me, they come with ideas and they want to do always uh, better and, uh, and more. Does it ever stress you out? Because every time you're always entertaining, you're always wowing the audience. Does it ever stress you out to do something different, to change it? No, 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 no. I, I am very comfortable with what I do. I love my, my, my job, you know. So I love to design, I love colors, I love people. And it's just easy uh, to work in this uh, environment, you know. So you're always cool, you're never sweating. I never sweat, never, never. I don't have time for that. You're, you're, you're one busy man. Yeah, I am. Yeah.